Hey there everybody, Craig here. In this video I'm going to jump right into it and show you how you can edit collaboratively a Word document either in a browser or in a desktop app. The use case here is your colleagues need to work on a document and do markup, edits, comments, and so forth. Or students, for example, are working collaboratively on a project in class or outside of class. This is how you do it. So. Basically, you need to share the file that you create by clicking share, and then you wanna make sure everyone can edit it and then copy the link. There are other ways that you can do this, but I'm just focusing on how you can actually download the document and edit it in a app. So once you do that, you can essentially construct an email, say, hey, this is what I want everybody to be editing, and then they can essentially click on it. And what it will do is open that document into a browser by default. Now, of course, you can share that link um, through email or in any other way that you want to share it. And basically, all I have here is dummy text and so on. And you can see that editing is actually taking place. Up here, you would see who's editing it and so forth. And you could also see comments. So let's just say, for example, that I started to type in this. And then, just so I can really show you, basically, once that's done, let's say that we want to add a comment, you can right click, add new comment. If, for example, you want to add somebody, say a colleague, you could do that as well. Click send, it will actually notify them that it is awaiting their commentary, but I don't want to do that for this video. So let's just go ahead and make sure that that comment is posted. Okay, so I said that you could edit it in the online version which has quite a few features but not all features of course so what you might want to do is download this into your desktop app so if you have word installed on your computer and it's the full version all you need to do is click here open in desktop app what it's going to do is ask you do you want to continue editing here or do you want to download it and it's going to say when you click open it is essentially going to stop editing here and allow you now to edit there. And note that the edit that I made in the browser is already there, but let's say that we want to add more text. So for example, I'm going to add some more dummy text here for everybody to read. And I'm gonna like highlight it. Now, if I don't highlight it, that's fine because people will know that I've made that edit. Of course, if I really want to be clear on what's happening, I can go to review. I want to make sure that I have track changes enabled. Once that's enabled, now I can add that dummy text and it will show up there. Now note that it is also simultaneously updating in the cloud. So if I just actually close this, I don't even have to hit save or anything. I can just close that and it's going to refresh and note that the edit is there. So in essence, people don't need to, for example, download a shared document, edit it, send it back and forth, because if multiple people are making changes, then somebody has to reconcile that. And I know the biggest issue is the sort of uneasiness or the lack of features in the online version of Word. So the best thing to do is just click the open in desktop app, and that will be tracking all changes. Of course, you can quickly make edits here. And just as it notes here, if you're editing on an iPhone, Android, or any of those things with the Word app, all of this is going to be in the cloud and backing it up. So one other thing that you could do, of course, is if you are in an email, when you click on a new message, if you're going to do an attachment and you want everybody to edit from the attachment there, just do upload and share, and this will be in your shared folder for your emails. I don't like that as much as essentially just starting from here and say, for example, creating a new document and just call this test, clicking here, Let's say that I want to add some lorem ipsum text here, some dummy text. Once that's in there, I can do share, basically get that link, put it into an email. Another way to do it is from here, you can click, right click, click share, and so forth. But once again, the main feature here that I'm trying to highlight in this video is that in fact, people can edit a document, the same exact document, either in the browser or in the Word document app by essentially from that online place, just clicking open in desktop app. It'll prompt you, you just click open here 
and it'll open it there and it is now backing up into the cloud and it will actually show you even here who is working on the document. So this is a really cool feature. I hope that you like this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as consider subscribing to the channel. And I look forward to giving you more helpful tips in future videos. Take care.